Conforming a clip means to play a clip shot at one frame rate at a different frame rate within a project so that every flame in the original clip plays. For example, to play a clip shot at 120 frames per second at 24 frames per second in a project. Apple calls this setting an automatic speed setting. Now this is done to achieve a very smooth, very high quality slow motion effect. So what we do is we shoot at a faster frame rate and play back at a lower frame rate, which gives us automatic slow motion with really high quality with no stutter or choppiness. Here's how it works. Here's an example of we're back in Brazil and we've got our dancer dancing on the top of the train. All right, not bad. It would be nice if we could run this in slow motion and not have any jerkiness because we want people to stay in the movement of the dance. Select the clip, go to the Smurf menu, and notice this choice called automatic speed. What it's done, let me just go back a step here and show you how we got to where we are. If I select the project, Command J, and open up the project settings, we see that this project is a 24 frame a second project. If I select the clip and go up to the info tab in the inspector, I see it's a 60 frame a second clip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play every frame. It's going to slow the clip down 40%. I'm going to play every frame in this clip and create a high quality stutter free slow motion. Go to the Smurf menu, automatic speed. And now look what's happened. No jitter, no choppiness, very smooth, clean images, no motion blur, exactly what we want. What I've done is I've simply played a clip back at the speed at which it was shot inside the timeline, which is at a different frame rate than a clip. NFL Films is, is legendary for doing this. When NFL Films is shooting football and it was shooting film, it was always shooting film at 32 frames a second. It would then play that film back at 24 frames a second, slowing the clip by about 30%. And this gave us this beautiful balletic movement of very, very large men moving very, very quickly and violently on the football field. And yet this sense of grace and dance because we were looking at this elegant slow motion, which gave us a chance to see what was going on much more clearly than we could see it by watching in real time. Well, let's just take a look here and do the same thing. Here is a snowboarder. Lovely shot. But wouldn't it be cool if we could slow it down? Well, it was shot at 29.97. It's playing back at 24. Select the clip, go to the Smurf menu, select automatic speed. It slows it down 20%. And notice now there's no jerkiness, there's no stutter, but it's much smoother, lovelier. It seems to hang longer. Very cool. In order to create this effect, you have to shoot in the camera at a faster frame rate than you plan to edit in your project. Then select the clip in your project and turn on automatic speed. At that point, you can then adjust it manually if you want, but if you start to drag the thumb to make it any other speed than the one that Final Cut sets, you're injecting choppiness again. The absolute smoothest setting is automatic speed and don't make any speed changes. What we've seen so far is that we can freeze a clip, stop motion. We can add a constant set of motion, whether it's by retiming during an edit or a constant speed change to a clip. But what happens if we want to vary the speed during the clip? This is called a variable speed change. I want to talk about that next. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar, taking a look at clip speed effects inside Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for webinar 192. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours of training all in depth and all up to date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash subscriptions. And thanks.